I would like to speak about response investment and diversification. Especially I would like to speak about the commonly held belief that ESG indicators have to be bad for diversification. Integrating ESG indicators and portfolios would have a negative effect on the portfolio diversification or at least a non-measurable negative effect. And we've done a research paper at St Andrews where we show quite statistical that effectively diversification has three effects. One of which is related to the number of stocks in the portfolio and there of course if ESG reduces that number that's a negative effect. Another one is related to the question of how many industries are there, the correlation, and there again if ESG increases these correlations that's negative for portfolio diversification. The third one is related to the actual uh, specific firm effects, if you want so, the standard deviations within the covariance term or in each covariance term of the portfolio education, and that's related to the firm specific extra risk. ESG factors are known to reduce that firm specific extra risk. There's very good evidence on that by, for instance, Darren Lee, also Maastricht has found similar things. And so with ESG factors, these extra risks can be reduced and portfolio education can be improved ceteris paribus. Let me briefly explain this as a metaphor and then finally explain it with the statistical terms in a statistical language if you want so. So as metaphor it's sad that you shouldn't put all eggs in one basket and that's perfectly right and as an example the eggs will be the money you're having, the number of baskets will be your firms and so the standard saying is put all egg, put the eggs in lots of baskets so when one basket falls not all eggs are breaking. On top of that, the standard saying is, if you take the X, say, home from the supermarket, try to have different people carrying the baskets, because then if a person falls, only a few baskets are falling, and you keep the other X. And so in this case, the X would be the, the money, the basket would be the firms, and the people would be the industries. And that's been the long understanding about this vacation, and therefore the integration of ESG issues had at best been considered to have no strong or no measurable financial penalty, but always people assumed it has a penalty because you would kind of limit the number of people, you would limit the number of stocks. So financial engineering is invisible and intangible, while uh, electric or natural engineering is tangible. And so in financial engineering, you can't actually see the quality of the baskets. It is well possible in financial engineering that some of these baskets have holes until the X might fall through the baskets. And to make sure that that doesn't happen, ESG data can be very useful because those firms with the worst ESG ratings tend to have abnormal specific risk and largely abnormal specific risk and these abnormal specific risks can be understood as holds. So our recommendation from St Andrews is when you diversify first make sure that you only use the baskets with good quality, quite intuitive if you want so in a normal setting if you could see the baskets, then allocate all acts about the good quality baskets, then make sure that you're investing in lots of different industries so lots of different people are carrying the baskets, but in the very first step make sure that you sort out those baskets baskets with the worst quality or insufficient quality and ESG indicators can be used for that very well because those firms with the worst ESG scores tend to have a very low quality as a basket.